Well, if you want to do something, you can. You can ask. You see, the, the blessings of God come by asking, not achieving. The Bible says that God gives grace to the humble, and in order to ask, it requires humility. You see, faith is inherently humble. You know why? Because it's all about believing what He's done, not what you can do. The Bible says, seven, Matthew 7, 11, it says, if you, if you then are evil, know how to give good gifts to your children. You're evil, but if you have a consciousness of your goodness, He's trying to pull you from a consciousness of your goodness into a consciousness of His goodness. If you are evil and you know how to give good gifts, how much more will the Father in heaven give good gifts to those who ask Him? Ask Him. In other words, God is a gift giver and He's a good gift giver and He's much better than us. And that if we ask, we can receive, not achieve. Next scripture. John 4.10 says, Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked Him and he would have given it to you. If you knew the gift, knew that salvation and what God wanted to do in your life and what he requires is actually a gift. If you knew that, you would ask. And if you knew who it is that asks you, that he's good, that he's better than you, that he's a good gift giver, that he's a father, and that he promises that he would give to those who ask, then you would ask. But if we're prideful or performance oriented and we believe that we have to achieve, we'll never ask. We'll try to earn it through our good behavior. We'll try to earn it through our works. We'll end up foolish like the Galatians, not realizing that if we begin in the spirit, God is calling us to finish in faith by believing in the spirit and only what the spirit can do through and because of his sacrifice and his finished work, not ours. Next. Thank you for watching I Believe X. You've now been marked in him.